thank you everybody for taking the time to attend our proposal trends and strategy webinar for D Tools Cloud. My name is Jennifer and I'll be presenting today. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to showcase how our software can help transform your business and provide you with the tools you need to stay ahead of the curve. So let's go ahead and get started and dive into DTools Cloud and why it's so unique. And in today's webinar, we're really going to <clears throat> focus on the top six trends that make our software and our proposal tool so attractive. We're gonna focus on options and alternates, which is a feature available in our software that will allow you to set pricing and give clients options to choose within the quote so that they can accept and sign right then and there. Second will be packages and accessories where within DTools Cloud, you can create groupings of items together or even a pre-built system for the client to select from. You can also add accessories that you will be able to add to particular items so that you can move uh, faster when quoting. Next, we'll also talk about proposal templates. With our proposal templates, you'll have the ability of creating multiple for the different types of projects that you do. You could actually give these access to all the resources so that they can choose from these templates and present the proposal to the clients. Another cool feature within our software will be cloning quotes. We know that a big part of the industry is that some of the projects might be very similar, which will allow you to copy an existing quote to a brand new opportunity so that you can use it as a template and use it for another project. Next, also expiration dates and proposal reminders. We know that life can get a little bit busy with our proposal reminders. You won't have to worry about missing another deadline. With our proposal reminders, you can send reminders via email to your clients to automatically set the client to accept and sign that proposal. And last, we'll focus on client supplied items. We know that in certain cases, um, in particular projects, there are products that the client is providing or supplying, but you still want to charge them for labor. That's a big part of why you are in business, as well as making a global adjustment on particular projects, whether you want to give a particular client a discount globally, or perhaps um, you want to mark up all the products in that particular project, but not make any edits to your catalog. Let's go ahead and move along. And proven success in the industry, DTools Cloud has actually been around for over 25 years. We've helped over 7,000 companies just like yours save costs, grow revenue by streamlining their operations and becoming more efficient. That's because at DTools Cloud, we are committed to your success. We provide an extensive training for your team to guide you through the best practices and offer you support when needed to ensure that you get the most out of the software. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the good stuff. How we help our customers. When clients choose our software, it's, used, it's usually because they want to tackle a few common challenges. Let's take a look at what they are looking for in a solution. First off, speeding up their sales process is a big one. Our software helps you create quotes lightning fast, saving you valuable time. Plus our proposals are designed to make it easy for the client to say yes. That means quicker decisions and faster deals. Streamlining operations is another key benefit we know you don't wanna waste time on double data entry or juggling multiple software applications. Our software eliminates those headaches and improves communication both within your team as well as with clients. It's all about making your workflow smoother and more efficient. And lastly, we wanna ensure that your process is ready for growth. 
our software is designed to be scalable. So as your business is expanding, you won't hit any roadblocks. We're here to help you support your growth journey every step of the way. What we do within DTools Cloud. In DTools Cloud, we give you the ability to use some of our CRM-like capabilities to track sales pipeline, see who's working with whom on what, um, also add new leads as they come in and manage your clients and contacts internally. We have a built-in integrated product library that would allow you to connect with specific vendors and suppliers to pull in the cost of the items that you use. That will also funnel through quoting and being able to present proposals to clients via, via uh, in-person or email. Um, you can also tie it together with design, which we allow you to do within our estimates through the visual quoting, where you will be able to upload that floor plan. And as you're adding items to that floor plan, Dtools is adding up the quote for you. And then after you win those projects in, or after you win those proposals, it will then become a project in our software that would allow you to manage that life cycle of the project, generate tasks, and um, view the budgeted hours against the completed hours in the project. And lastly, we also have a series of reports that you can run to view profitability on your projects, as well as those sales. You can also view pipeline of what you're potentially going to be closing versus what you've closed so far, and also to kind of look ahead to see what trends, how many projects are you getting from particular, um, whether it's by a client, referral, or much more. In our integrated product library, um, this really is what sets us apart from other solutions. It's a one-stop shop for everything you need to reduce the time you spent researching product information, updating pricing, and managing data. We partner with a number of growing brands and suppliers so you can access the products you need and quickly build your proposal. And here's the best part. Our product library includes product images, descriptions, model numbers, user guides, cut sheets, suggested installation labor, and even specific pricing for selected suppliers. So no more jumping around multiple websites trying to piece together all the information that you use to build your proposals. With our integrated product library, you'll have everything that you need right at your fingertips. Um, we actually have an integrated pricing from over a thousand brands and you can access it all in one place. So you can trust that our suggested installation times based on the industry best practices and real world experiences for precise labor estimates. And with the extensive specs from over a thousand brands and suppliers, you can have all the information you need to make an informed decision and streamline your workflow. So you can finally say goodbye to the headaches of product research data and alleviate that process for yourself and your team. In maximizing every sales opportunity, we're going to talk about something that's really important to any business managing your sales pipeline from lead to close. With Dtools Cloud, you can efficiently manage your contacts, easily enter in new leads, while keeping track of all the activity that goes along with closing that business. It also allows you to keep track of opportunities and see who's working on what. You can even plan ahead for that project backlog so you're never caught off guard. And with our reminders and email notifications, you'll never miss a proposal deadline again. This feature is super helpful for keeping track of your activity and getting those signed contracts back more quickly. But the best part, clients can sign off on those proposals with just a few clicks, making the process quick and easy for everyone involved. Plus, with our accurate sales forecasting, you can stay on top of our sales goals or your sales goals and make sure that you're always ahead in the right direction. For the interactive multimedia proposals, you will have the ability to create different proposal templates within our software, which will build that brand value and give your clients a sales presentation 
that showcases what it's like to work with you. Well, with DTools Cloud-based interactive proposals, you can do just that. With this tool, you can create a living document that your clients can engage with, allowing them to quickly select and choose what they want at the equipment level. Plus, you can even upload a customer testimonial or introduce them to your team to personalize that experience even further. But it's not just about personalization. This tool also simplifies the sales process for your clients, making it easy and stress-free to accept and sign the proposals or select from any of the options or alternates that you provide in the quote. Building your vision and visual quoting. This is one of our quoting styles that is built in with DTools Cloud, and it's really going to entice your clients like never before. With this feature, you'll be able to upload a floor plan and you can click to add products onto the floor plan, which will build the quote for you. You can use allowances if you're early in the process as placeholder for equipment to quickly get to that scope and budget. So as you click to add products onto the quote, DTools is building the proposal for you. And here's the best part. Drawings have always been part of our DTools DNA, but the visual quoting is the beginning of us expanding that cloud-based drawing capability. And then after you win those estimates, it's now going to become a project in our software. So let's go ahead and talk about project, streamlining that process even further. First up, we have QuickBooks integration as well as Xero, which makes accounting a breeze. You'll be able to push those estimates over and invoice through those software solutions. We also have an integrated ordering with ADI, which means that you can easily order the equipment directly through DTools. Plus you can manage and track multiple change orders and purchase orders in one place. You can also start planning and scheduling projects has never been easier thanks to DTools project management tool. You can build project plan and schedule technicians to be on site and then all in one place. Field users will have their own login where they'll be able to clock in and out from the job site and track the time against the overall time sold. This helps project managers stay on top of all the progress and ensure that the project is completed on time and within budget. And a little bit of an insight or a glance at our business intelligence with DTools Cloud, you'll have the ability to run a series of reports. Um, you'll be able to view some sales forecast reports to view what potentially you're going to be closing based on what stage each opportunity is in. Um, you can also do sales reports to see what has been closed so far within which resource. And then you'll also be able to run profitability reports to see how profitable you were in each project and start planning or budgeting better for the future ones to come. And last, DTools does allow you to manage your service plans and service calls. So we're not just an estimating tool. We go above and beyond those capabilities. Now with DTools Cloud, you'll be able to create, sell, and manage service plans to keep your clients happy and your business running smoothly. Um, the likability of getting those service contracts signed quicker within the proposal for them to choose from the options that you provide. You can also schedule service calls with ease, send them out to your team, and they'll be able to view it through their mobile device connect, get real-time updates, as well as reschedule that service call or complete that service call. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into our demo today. So as I stated before, we're really going to be focusing on those particular key areas of the top six trends available in DTools Cloud for quoting. So as you know, our software, you can log in from any web-enabled device. And the first thing that you do see when you come into DTools Cloud is the dashboard. This is a pretty cool view that will allow you to view all your opportunities, meaning um, opportunities can be leads that come in or leads 
or clients that have an actual quote assigned to them. So you'll be able to view opportunities this month, any particular task that you have coming up, closings or quotes that you've generated that are potentially going to be closing this week, as well as all the opportunity quotes in here. In this view, you can also filter by projects. So after you win those opportunities, it actually becomes a project in our software, which will allow your project managers to filter through task, calendar, and all open activities associated to those projects. Great, let's go ahead and move into opportunities. So opportunities is where we're really going to take some time in here to discuss how you're able to manage this pipeline. Under opportunities, you can actually create different stages and actually name these stages what you want, and it's going to set a percentage of probability to close. This is extremely important, especially for the sales team to view what stage each quote is on and what's next in that sales process. This is also going to be an awesome tool to be able to report upon to view what are you going to potentially close this week, this month, this quarter. In each opportunity, you will have the ability to view the percentage of closing, as you progress that opportunity, the percentage of closing will change. You can also put in a priority. That's what the little yellow circle means. You can set your different types of priorities for the opportunities, whether it's high, medium, or low, or very important. And then you can also assign multiple resources to an opportunity. In Detools Cloud, we built this system to be able to collaborate internally and the beauty of assigning multiple resources to an opportunity just streamlines the process even further and notifies all the users involved. Let's go ahead and click on an existing opportunity. Think about the opportunity as the file where the quote lives. We're going to track the client, what type of project it is, the project type, you can even enter in the market type if you want. We'll put in a priority. Maybe the client has a budget in mind. We want to keep this in mind. An estimated close date. It's also going to track when that opportunity has been created for forecasting. And then you can also put in how you're obtaining these new leads. Create your own lead sources so that you're able to market correctly. And then if you have any particular clients that refer other clients to you, perhaps you want to keep that in mind to give them a discount in the future, as well as who the owner of the opportunity is. You have the site, the billing address, the client's detail, contacts, and any attachments such as a floor plan or documents that you want to associate in the opportunity. In the Tools Cloud, under activity, here comes more of that CRM-like capability where you can take notes. A new lead calls in, they're interested in getting a, the, their home cinema. You wanna track some particular information. This is a great area for you to come in and take all these notes in here. If you're working with other resources, you do have the ability to add mention users, um, perhaps, if you need them to follow up in a week, or if you wanna set yourself up for a reminder to follow up with the client, you will have the ability to set those tasks internally so that when that due date comes to play, or if you do set up a reminder email, all your notifications will populate within the software, making the tools more of that one-stop shop solution. Great. Let's go ahead and move into a quote. But before we move into the quote, in an opportunity, you can actually have multiple versions of the quote, um, but only one quote can be one per opportunity. And here we come up to our first top six trends, the ability to copy a quote to a brand new opportunity and use it as a template. This is certainly going to speed up that quoting process for the types of projects that are very similar. If you normally quote this particular system every time, you will have the ability to copy this quote to a brand new opportunity and use it as a template. 
let's go ahead and click on a quote in here. In here under design is where it's going to bring you to the two forms of quoting available within the software. The list view will allow you to create your different locations in here. You can add descriptions in each location. And it's so easy to quote within this way. You could just select which location you want to add products in, come in, search for the product in the catalog. So you'll be able to either search by brand, by model number, by description. So I'm here just going to search anything that is associated to a TV. Automatically, the items that are in your personal catalog will populate first. But the beauty about DTools Cloud is that you can search the general DTools library, add items to your quote, select which supplier you get it from, which will automatically create your catalog for you. There's no need to download a catalog prior to creating a quote, which helps you quote faster. So I'll go ahead and choose items from my catalog. I'll select, I'm um, gonna select this actual TV. I do have the ability to add it to one location or multiple locations at a time, as well as change the quantity. And I'll go ahead and add it to my quote. Automatically, the next top trend is the ability to assign accessories to products. We know that as you're moving fast, you don't wanna forget any any accessory or any item, we know that it is crucial in making the most out of your projects. So DTools Cloud does a great job of assigning accessories per category. You can also mass update a series of accessories across a given category so that they're automatically assigned to products. And it's gonna go ahead and add the item in there. If I click on this particular TV in here, I'll show you a description. We also provide you with a couple of images of the item, as well as an icon image in here. In the product, you can also make items in DTools as a client selectable option. What is a client selectable option? This is an awesome feature that will allow you to add additional optional items to the quote without altering the total at the bottom of the quote, meaning that the clients can select to add this product in the proposal, which will edit the total in that particular proposal, eliminating revisions presented during that sales process. In this view, you can also see the price set. You can select from which supplier you get the product from, and it will automatically set the cost to that supplier set. In here, you'll be able to view the MSRP, you'll be able to manage your margin and your markup, and then DTools provides you with the industry standard hours of installation associated to the product. You will be able to come in and put in what you charge for labor, as well as adding multiple labor types to that item, giving it the total estimated price. All the items will be associated to a particular location that you added it in, the system that it's assigned to, as well as the phase of that project. The next top trend would be for those items that the client is supplying in that project. So let's say that the client bought this TV separately and is wanting you to install it for them. You can mark it as a client supplied item. We're not going to charge them for the cost of that TV. However, we know how crucial and important it is to be able to track the labor associated to that installation and programming of that TV. And this is what this particular feature will do for you. The user manual, and the install manual will also be available for most of the products in the catalog as well. Great, let's go ahead and jump into our visual quoting. Under the visual quoting is where you will be able to come in here and upload a floor plan. As you add that floor plan, you can either add it PDF, PNG, JPEG, um, as you upload that floor plan in here, you will have the ability to associate the locations within that floor plan. 
So particularly if you're walking through a client site, you'll have the ability to upload a floor plan, or even if you don't have it, use our draw location feature to create a particular location within the floor plan. This is a great way of walking through a client site, and if you need to create a brand new location, you can come in and create it in here. So let's call it the pool area. I can add a number, a description, whether this is a client selectable option location or not, and then add that to my quote. It automatically creates a location in here, which will automatically add it to the list. In this view, you can also quote. So you can actually enter in items in here. Let's say I'm gonna add in the pool area, I'm gonna add a couple of outdoor cameras in here. I'll be able to select from my catalog. I can use the quick add feature and start adding the camera to that location, which automatically adds it to my list. So no need to go back to the list view. As you're creating these drawings, those items will be added onto your quote for you. You can also edit in here whether you want these to be icon images, whether you want to show camera coverage or speaker coverage, whether you want to maybe duplicate that location or add images to that location. Details Cloud gives you the flexibility of making these floor plans as fancy or as simple as you want. Within Details Cloud, since we do offer that service management module, you will have the ability to come in here and create your different service contracts. Who doesn't want that recurring revenue every month? Well, with service contracts, this will do just that. And here you can create these service contracts name them what you want, add a description, whether it's a fixed price or maybe a dynamic percentage of that project. What is the length that you want to add to these service contracts? Is it monthly? Is it gonna be a 12 month term, 24, 36? What is the billing frequency? Are we gonna allow them to pay monthly or quarterly, semi-annually? And then what is included in these plans? Within DTools service management module, you'll have the ability to come in and use our feature plans in here to create these service contracts and add them to your proposals. After you do just that, you can also review your proposal, make sure that everything is accurate in here. You can view your proposal by product, by labor, making sure that you're making the most and most profit out of this project in here. If you wanna per se wanna do an adjustment, which is our next trend that I talked about earlier, you can come in here under adjustments and make a global adjustment across the whole project. Perhaps this is a preferred client and you wanna give them a 10% discount. Maybe you wanna give them a 10% discount just on the products, perhaps not the, not the labor itself, just the products. Or perhaps it's you wanna mark up everything in the project, either product or labor together. This is where as you finish quoting, you can make a global adjustment to the quote without doing the tedious work of going item per item and then presenting it to your client. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and hit where it says present proposal to the client. This is where you're going to create and manage your different proposal templates. You can make them as fancy and elaborative as you want or simple to the point. You can add images. You can even present them with your previous work, add or hyperlink your website in here. You can add a portfolio showcasing your previous work in here and what you've done in the past. It's a very attractive way of displaying your work to your clients. We also have an integration with Modus VR that would allow you to upload an image from them and show them a 360 look. You can add social media. 
put in your company profile and services. I've also added a testimonial, awards that we've won, introduced them to your team. You can even add those project attachments in here where the client can actually view, select those items, view a brief description of the products that are being added. And then everything can be broken down in multiple ways. That's why we gave you the ability to generate different proposal templates, which is one of our next top trends. In here, you can create and manage those templates and save them for the entire team to use on the project that they're working on. You can either do multimedia proposals or filter through the quick quotes, which is just a brief description, either by location or by system, of those products that were added into that quote. If we go back to the multimedia proposals in here, this is going to be a cool way for you to change template without having to readjust the quote. So let's go ahead and choose our residential lux in here, which automatically changed the template. If you want to change the filters in here, you can you can come in and edit group by location, system, system and location, and just one click of a button. You also have the ability, whether you wanna show line item pricing or if you wanna show a unit price, you can edit all this just in one click of a button within this particular proposal template. And then if you are ready, you can present it to the client right then and there or you can share it via email. When you do share it via email is another top trend of ours that you can set a valid till date of this quote. And then you can also set up recurring reminder emails. We know that life gets busy, sometimes clients forget. This reminder email will eliminate you having to resend the quote over to the client which will allow and prompt them to get an email notification if they haven't clicked on it, to go ahead and take a look at that proposal that you sent. Great, let's go back. Once you've actually presented or shared that proposal to the client and they've actually clicked or viewed it, our software will notify you of when the client has clicked on it, how many times they've clicked on it, and if they signed off on it. So all your notifications will populate within the software, giving you that feedback, which as we know, it's, it's a great way to keep track of those quotes that you've sent out to your clients and make sure that you reach back out and get those deals signed. Great, let's go ahead and move to projects. As you're progressing this opportunity, you're moving it along the pipeline. And then when you put it under the one column, it is now going to create a project for you. So we'll go ahead and create this project. Once you create that project, you now have the ability to push the estimate over into QuickBooks to start invoicing through there. Under the project overview, this is a great way for you to start managing your projects and tracking those projects internally. We know a big key part of being effective and streamlining the operations is to make sure that you're ordering your items on time. You put in those payment terms, you collected that deposit. Now we're gonna come in here and select what are the items that I need to order. I can filter by location, system, phase, brand, supplier, and then start ordering all my items since they're automatically assigned to a particular supplier. If you need to make any changes, perhaps you won't change your mind and you're gonna get it from a different supplier, you can go ahead and make those changes internally. You can also assign those products to ready to be ordered so that the next resource can start ordering all the items 
for that particular project, DTools Cloud gives you a lot of flexibility within the software to make sure that you're always on top of your project and make sure that you're always ordering your items correctly. So from this view, select the items that you want or perhaps go through a given face and start ordering all your items associated to the face in the system. If there are multiple suppliers, it will create multiple purchase orders and then you'll have the ability to send those purchases out within the software. All those items will automatically be marked in the project as drafted um, or ordered. So if we go back and we filter by that given face, it's gonna mark those items as drafted. If they've been received, then all the items will be marked as received, which is a great way to keeping track of all that activity. If we go back to the overview, we've received those items, now we're going to go ahead and perhaps assign those tasks. But before we do that, you within the project side of DTools Cloud, you can track those payments. Now within DTools projects, you will have the ability to generate a payment request. And as you generate that payment request, sync it with QuickBooks Online so that as you submit that payment request and it's been paid in QuickBooks, it automatically will update the software that it's been paid, alleviating that double data entry between both solutions. If you don't work with QuickBooks, no problem. You can certainly integrate it with any of our third-party payment integrations to collect that payment. Let's go ahead and move along back to the overview in here. We allow you at a glance to generate a series of tasks that you can associate to a given project. So perhaps we're planning for this project, you create a series of tasks, you can save them as templates so that you can give your team the flexibility of choosing for those task templates in future projects. We're gonna select that task template and add it to the quote. In here, we're really going to use this feature as a planning. Okay, we're gonna go, go ahead and add a targeted day that we need to have this completed pre-wire done. We're going to go ahead and assign it to one of our resources or technicians in here. In that given task, you can actually have a group of checklists that you need that technician to complete prior to completing this task. You can also add items that they need to install. So now we're gonna go ahead and filter by face as well. Come in, add the item or all the items that they need to install and add it to the task. I also can give them access to the drawing. Perhaps in the drawing, there are specific information or endpoints that I want them to see or the wire path that is connecting the items together. This is a great way of keeping communication between the office and the outfield. After I add everything I need them to see, I'm gonna go ahead and schedule them on the calendar. We do give you a calendar view in here to kind of manage the month, the week, and the day so that you can go ahead and assign those tasks to the technicians out in the field. So let's say I'm gonna go ahead and add it for today. We said we're gonna add it to Jennifer. Perhaps I might wanna add another resource just in case. And then I'm gonna add that task or group of tasks that I'm gonna to assign to Jennifer. And as soon as I create the task or add it to the calendar, she is now going to receive a notification via email that a brand new task or what you would call a work order is assigned to her. <clears throat> she is also going to get notifications if she has access to the software internally as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just switch to the field user view, which will bring you to what the technician sees on their end. They'll be able to view their dashboard, clock into the project, which automatically starts tracking the time against that task and the labor. They'll be able to click on that task or groups of tasks that they have assigned to them. As soon as they start marking off items from that checklist, it's automatically gonna move that task to in progress, 
which is going to update the office view immediately. They can also view the items that are assigned to them, mark them as picked or installed. And they can go through this process with all the items in that task. If there's any issues or problems, they can actually take images from the field, add it in here. They can view any of the drawings and they can also take any notes associated to this particular work order. And as soon as they are done, they can come in and mark this work order as completed, which will automatically update the task from the office view. They'll have access to their hours in here. If they forgot to maybe clock out and go to lunch, they can certainly edit their time. So they can add in additional time in here as needed, and then they can save it. Let's add this, save it, let me add it, perfect. They'll clock out of that project. They can view all their tasks that are assigned to them in one view, giving them a lot of access. They can view all their service calls in here, what they've done previously, what they have set up so far will be stored in here. They can view their schedule for the week as well as the project. They're right now working on Mr. Media, CD I mean. They completed one out of 13 tasks and 0.3 out of 63 hours completed so far. So they do have that visibility as well as the project information, where are they going, who do they need to contact, which is crucial when sending out those texts out in the field. And then we'll go ahead and filter back into the project view. So as soon as a work order is completed, that office view will be notified or that project manager will be notified in here. They'll be able to view what tasks have been completed, click on that task, view what has been added, any notes that the technician has left. And if there has or needs to be any changes to that particular project, they can now mark the changes under the change order view. They can come in, generate a change order, mark external if they're going to charge the client a difference, or perhaps it's gonna be an internal change order. We forgot to add additional wire. We can name the change order and generate it without having to charge the client. So our project management view is a great way for you to manage that project from start to finish, track how many hours against the budgeted hours you've uh, done so far, and what have we exceeded? Have we charged less in installation versus programming? DTools Cloud is gonna give you a broader spectrum as how to improve the labor that you are charging for your clients and the hours associated um, in that project. Um, you will have the ability to come in here and also take notes associated to the project. Um, so any internal notes um, will be available in here as well. And it gives you a lot of flexibility for everyone internally to know what's next in that process. And last, if you go to review, if the client did sign off on a particular contract, they will have the ability to view the contract details in here of that service plan. They can also come in and generate that service call against a service contract. They can view the payments and start generating a payment request based on the terms of that contract. And they can also automate those payment requests. So that once this is enabled, it is automatically going to set those payment requests to be sent to the client, alleviating the team of having to remember when that due date is due.
let's go ahead and move into service. So under the service module, you will be able to track all your service calls as well as service contracts. So this is a great view for you to come in and view what's pending versus con service contracts, what's current and what's completed so far. Under service calls, you can track if you're getting new service calls, you can schedule a new service call, put in you know, what client it is, if that client has a particular project, does the client have any service contract? Do we want to sell them a brand new service contract? And then mark the issue of that service contract. the outdoor camera isn't working, for example. This is going to automatically create this service call. And now it's going to allow you to schedule that service call for a technician. You can put in a service contract. You can put in the priority. This is urgent. The outdoor camera isn't working. It's a priority for the client. If they have multiple locations, you'll be able to view that location in here who the owner of this is, perhaps you have a particular service call manager, and then who are we assigning it to here? Who is available right now to go ahead and go out to that client site? We're gonna go ahead and add it to Jennifer. We're gonna set it for, you know, it's gonna be a one, let's say it's gonna be for today. Let's say today is early, it's nine to 10 a.m. and we're gonna go ahead and schedule it. The same way, that. This will be automatically sent to the technician. The technician will be able to view it from their field view. So let's go ahead and switch to the field user view. I can come in and view my calls in here. Jake Jones, where do I need to go? I can view that Google map information, view the client's detail in here. Perhaps I can call them and let them know I'm on my way. I know what the issue that was called in or reported was, now I arrived, I'm going to mark down the issue in here, maybe the lens, maybe the camera over self that was broken. So the camera broke, I need to replace it. What are the actions? You can put in those notes in here as well. The next steps, the next steps is to go ahead and either I have an additional camera in the truck, or we need to go ahead and reschedule this service call in here and add or reorder that product. I can either replay, re repair it or replace it in here. So I'll go ahead and, and choose that camera in here. Search my camera, yep, next. And then which one am I replacing it for? It's the same one. I have a uh, one in the truck. I can also take images. So the technician can actually take images and view what the issue is and then add that product in there. Am I gonna complete this? Let's say I installed it. Yes, no, no need to continue with the work summary. I don't need to do anything else. We'll go ahead and do that. I can also track my drive time in here. So how long did it take me to drive there? Um, you know, if you need to track any additional labor hours, you can add it in there. You can add any attachments or images to this work order. And if there are any checklists available in here for the client, they'll be able to, or the technician, they'll be able to view it and mark it off. And if they're done with that service call, they can go ahead and mark it as complete. Or if they're awaiting parts, or they need to reschedule, they can note that as well. And I know some of you do have some questions. Um, we can certainly leave it to the end and we'll also follow up with you to answer those questions. In the meantime, um, go ahead and write them down and we'll get back to you towards the end. So as soon as they complete that um, service call, they can the office view will be notified and then under service, they will be able to view that service call while was completed. This Jake, Jake Jones is 
you know, ready for payment. They can come in, view what was done, and then go ahead and um, generate that payment request to the client, which will track the work summary, what was done, what was replaced. Um, and then it also is going to track those, those hours in there. And then this, these fields in here will not be customizable. They're, they're already set. Um, this is the actual one that we covered. Let me show you the work summary. The camera that was there, the camera that was replaced is here. And it's going to track, obviously, my drive time if I entered it in, if I, you know, if I charge for any truck roll fee, you know, the product in there. And I can go ahead and generate the payment request for this given service call and then push it over to QuickBooks if I want. You also have a schedule view for payment um, for service calls in here. You can view who's been assigned to what. Um, in the calendar, you can filter by month, by week, or by day. And then you can also manage your contracts internally. We know that this is a big part of your recurring revenue, and we want to give you the flexibility of tracking your service contracts and also making sure that they are signed, they're on time, and that you get that recurring revenue. And lastly, we have all of our accounts in here where you can import in your clients and contacts and surely manage, obviously, how many opportunities you're working with a particular client as well as projects and the potential of growing that pipeline. And last, reports. Our software gives you some good feedback on those sales reports to view potentially what you're going to be closing, what is the closing ratio against all those opportunities that you have open, and the overall sales pipeline per lead source. How many of our sales reps are closing more than others? What is the closing ratio? And so forth. Visibility is key into expanding um, and improving that process internally. And also you can run some sales forecast reports against a particular time period in here, salesperson, project type, or lead source, which will give you a better visibility into, you know, how many are coming in versus you know, referrals versus from our marketing team and know how you're going to invest more in those areas. And last, all the time entries against the projects so that you can pay your technicians for their time. We know this is a crucial part of tracking time um, for these techs and, and DTools Cloud does a great job of that and alleviates that process for those project managers. Great. And we have come to the end of our webinar. Um, if you do have any particular questions that you wanted uh, to ask, go ahead, go ahead and um, add them in here. We will certainly follow up with you to answer those questions. And then also we kind of want to cover that we do have different plan options available within DTools Cloud. So go ahead and take a look at our pricing structure online. Or if you wanna take a little deeper dive into project management or service management, um, we will be touching base with you so that if you perhaps want to look at that a little bit further, we'll be able to do a personal one-on-one -on -one, uh, demonstration for you. Once again, in today's webinar, we've covered a lot of amazing features, but the top six trends um, that are most important and available within our software to recap will be the options and alternates, packages and accessories, proposal templates, cloning quotes to new opportunities to speed up that quoting process, expiration date and proposal reminders as a key benefit tool to get those signed contracts back more quickly, as well as client supplied and adjustments that will help your team use those 
in a quote without having to create a revision. Awesome. If you have any questions, we'll go ahead and answer them after the demonstration. You will also get a recording of the webinar. If you do have any additional questions, don't hesitate in reaching back out to us. Once again, thank you for your time today and we look forward to working with you. Thank you.